Hey what's up everyone, welcome to FX Maniac, this is Sayyid Mahmoud Amiri again and welcome to another quick tip tutorial. So actually two years ago I've done this Maya and Particles portal effect which uh, gotten like 50,000 views which for me is mind blowing and thank you guys for the support and everything that you've shown me but in that tutorial a lot of people asked about rendering and how to export it out of Maya and you know import After Effects so uh, I'm sorry I, I didn't do it like early but still if you were following this tutorial for the last two years now I'm going to show you guys how to render this out you know yeah it doesn't make sense but yeah just generally doing a you know, I'm going to show you guys today how to export your animations from Maya and bring it to your favorite 3D compositing software. So let's get started. All right, so here we have in Maya 2022 the nostalgic uh, portal effect that I did like two years ago. So here is my animation. If you, and if you don't know how to do this, you can of course refer to the original tutorial for setting it up. And uh, yeah, so uh, now we're going to talk about how to export this out of Maya. So uh, I'm just going to go, first off, when you set up your animation, make sure to set up how many frames you want. So in this case, I want 500 frames or maybe even 300 frames. And, you know, 300 frames also here so that it only uh, calculates like 300 frames. And then you can play it. And then you want to go into the Maya render settings by here by clicking on this little settings button and then Make sure it is set to Arnold because you set it up as an Arnold light and everything. And then you want to go and set up your image format. So if you want to have transparency, you can go ahead and set it like a PNG or something. But then we want it to export JPEG and the quality should be 100, of course. And the other very important thing is that you want to go ahead and set this up as a sequence, right? So you want to go into um, name and then number and then extension so then you're going to get the frame range so if it is like name single frame it will only export a single frame so you're going to go and set it to name hash dot extension so now you can go ahead and export the frame range so on from frame 1 to frame 300 and by frame 1 so it's only going to export one frame at a time so that's very self-explanatory and then you want to select your camera if you have multiple camera angles you can set it up here uh, we want to export the perspective view and then you're going to set your size uh, HD 1080 or 720 or whatever format you want you can just set it here and uh, that's basically about it and then you can go into Arnold settings maybe increase the camera AA to 4 and diffuse to 3 I've already mentioned it in the original tutorial so you can go ahead and refer to that if you want more information on it and the most important thing you want to go ahead once you want to render it out you can either go ahead uh, and you know access the render sequence option from two different ways the first way will be to go into effects menu go into the rendering and then you're going to go into render and here's the render sequence so you can go ahead and uh, you know pick up again you can pick up the camera which camera you want frame 1 to 300 and you can click on this folder icon and you can basically set a create new folder called render and select and set the naming uh, the name of course will be the name of your project and you can go ahead and render sequence and close so if you click on that you'll basically be rendering you know the whole sequence from one from the beginning of the timeline to the end of 300 frames and it's going to continue to basically render it out so you're going to you know set up overnight or go ahead take a shower and then you'll be back based on your hardware settings and configuration and I'm just going to cancel this by hitting escape because I've already rendered it out so once it is done you can go ahead into your After Effects or Nuke or whatever compositing software that you're using and you can just double click and import the files so I just have a sequence here I'm just gonna click on the first one and then make sure that import JPEG sequence is on so click on import and just drag it out to a new composition button and now you have your portal effect right inside of After Effects and you can do the compositing and everything so you know in the original example I've just went ahead and added some motion blur using the revision effects real smart motion blur so it adds some really cool motion blur to it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add some curves some contrasts. I've already done this in the original example but I'm just gonna show you guys you know and you can do whatever you want with it you know it just you know it is done rendering so the most important thing was you know how to export your animations from Maya so 
any type of animation that you have uh, this way you can just go ahead and quickly export it uh, you know previously it used to be like batch render and stuff but this render sequence is much more efficient and much more easier to set up so again this was the today's quick tip tutorial so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet make sure to subscribe because I'm working on some really great content which I'll uh, you know inform you guys uh, very soon about it and if you enjoy my content make sure to leave me a comment uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff which will uh, you know sort of help me to uh, continue making these free awesome tutorials for your people and also make sure if you need any type of music high quality royalty free no copyright music you can go ahead and check out our audio aura channel um, some really high-end music actually the music I'm using for the beginning and the end of this tutorial is this party one so make sure to subscribe and support us and this was the today's tutorial quick actually it was a quick tip and I uh, hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something from it until the next one enjoy working